This video summarizes the contents of the paper Anomalous Dynamics of DNA Hairpin Folding, published in PRL in May 2014. The paper is also freely available on archive. Consider a single-stranded DNA sequence which contains two self-complementary endparts, separated by a central short non-complementary sequence. At sufficiently low temperatures, the self-complementary parts will bind together. This process goes via two steps. First, there is a nucleation, which is the stable binding of a couple of base pairs. This nucleation happens predominantly close to the middle of the sequence. Subsequently, the remaining bases rapidly close up like a zipper. The final conformation is a double helix ending in a single-stranded loop. This shape is known as a DNA hairpin. We are especially interested in the time it takes for the hairpin to zipper up after nucleation as a function of n, the number of base pairs in the hairpin. From a simple model, one would expect that the zippering time scales linearly with the hairpin length. Using computer simulations of a coarse-grained model of DNA, we find instead that the zippering time scales superlinearly. Here in this graph, one can see a plot of the zippering time tau as a function of the hairpin length n, as determined from simulations at two different temperatures. The asymptotic regime is characterized by a power law with an exponent 1.6 independent of temperature. One refers to this nonlinear behavior as anomalous dynamics. Our result can be explained with a simple model. Starting from a nucleate conformation at time t equal to zero, the zippering happens rapidly and proceeds through highly non-equilibrium states. The intermediate system is characterized by what is known as a stem-flower conformation. A force balance argument then gives rise to a zippering time, scaling as n to the power 1.59. The full details can be found in the paper. Lastly, there has been quite some experimental effort recently in measuring transition path times for DNA and protein folding. Interestingly, experiments on hairpin folding seem to indicate that the folding dynamics is indeed anomalous. Although experimental error bars are still large, the exponent is consistent with our computer simulations and model predictions. Thank you for watching.